So this week we've been prepping the garden and that means we've built a couple of planters for the front garden. So we're going to take you along in the fun of us building them. It's not an instructional tutorial type video, it's just come along and have the fun of us doing it and you can see how easy it actually is to build your own planters and raise beds. That'll be perfect. Spot on. While Kate's thinking, planning, let me tell you what's going on. We've got lots of pots out front that we did two years ago. Yeah. Three years ago. Three years ago. Oh, to test out if we liked having spring bulbs and that kind of thing out there. And it looks absolutely glorious. We love it. So we're going to do something a bit more permanent now that we decided we like it. So we're going to have two planters we're going to build and put out in that space so it'll be in the same place but it'll be a bit more space for the plants to grow in it'll be a bit more soil and because it's not little pots it's more soil it'll hold the water better because that's the thing to struggle with out there it's south facing it gets baked in the sun and the wind it dries up quickly so that's what we're doing now these are just decking boards for making wooden decking kate's cut herself <laughs> What, what am I meant to do with this? Um, so yeah, so <laughs> we've worked this out um, and we've got 14 pieces of decking board and a couple of it's a fence post. That'll give us two planters and that came to just over 100 quid. It was like 109 quid. Way cheaper than it would be to buy this sort of stuff. So we're just going to get on with this now. I'm just the help. Well, you do have one more design decision to make. Oh, exciting design decisions. Well, the profiles of these decking boards yes. are different on each side. So one has got deep grooves and one has got a double set Deep of grooves out. Things. That's ugly. That's okay. I'm just checking. So you want... Do, do we agree, Fox? Comment below. In fact, I'll hold this up so you can see. I like this profile. Not this one that looks like it was an accident. This one. Comments below. Is that my last decision I get to make? The rest of it's done. I should point out when we do this, what you see on camera is us standing doing kind of thinking on the spot. Kate has actually already measured up and planned all of this. She just doesn't work from bits of paper plans. Um, Kate is, uh, now what was your type? Was it stage? Manager. manager. Kate used to build sets, so everything is done from her head. Nothing's on a plan, whereas I'm a plan person and I measure hundreds of times. And so I get banned. Electric saw out. Hurrah. Unless I get tired, in which case. We get the electric saw out. So this is roughly the idea. Obviously, there'll be sides on it, and we've got some sleeper off cuts we'll use for legs. But this is so that we can have a nice even channel in the middle for drainage. But it'll be too high. From one decking board, I've cut four pieces. That is going to be the ends. Cool. I tell you what we'll do, guys. We will put Kate's plan and all the details of all the stuff we got at our local hardware store B&Q but we'll give you ideas of what it all is. We'll put it in a blog post for you and I'll link it in the video so if you want to do this kind of thing, plan and everything's there. And that will be the planter. Yep, I'm on my way. That's because I was busy answering the patrons. Mark, you guessed right. So that's Caroline, Carrie Ann, Linda, Melissa, Mark, Drew, Tammy, and of course, Angela. Thank you so much, guys. You're awesome. This is just a handy thing because we obviously we use the batten bits in the centre sort of area as well because it's that extra stability. We can 
screw the bottom to it, we can screw the sides to it, but what we're doing is offsetting them slightly. It doesn't need to be like that for strength. What it is is Kate noticed that if we put them both in the middle, basically you're reducing the amount of planting depth you've got by that, by having them there. So that's all. It's just to kind of mean we don't have a particularly small pocket to plant in. As you can see, it is a big trough with these posts that we put in for stability. So that's what the corners and everything are attached to the side. Everything's attached. And you can see what we've done is we've left a wee channel in the centre for drainage. This guy is about three quarters full of ready to go compost that I've been holding on to specifically for this. So I need to get it out of there ready so I can get them filled. Obviously, if you've got any experience of planters and things, you'll realise this isn't enough to fill both of them. But I've got more behind the shed from last time. It means later on I can give that one a good clean. I do like when I get to clean my bins. I know it's sad, but I just think they work better after a good clean. Next job. I'm going to line these. So I've just got these old heavy duty plastic rubble sacks and I've got some old compost bags and stuff that I'll use. So all I'm doing is putting a lining on the inside of these to try and help them last a bit longer. Because obviously the inside is going to be in contact with wet soil all the time. Um, they won't last forever, they're wood, but you know, this will help them last a wee bit longer. There's nothing fancy to this. The only thing I will say is remember you need drainage. So remember and poke holes in this on the bottom when you're finished. Oh yeah, I use a staple gun to fix them, but you could tack them, whatever. One done, one to go. Oh, knackered. And remember, drainage holes. I know I've said it before, but it's important. Don't forget drainage holes. This is like the world's most advanced Christmas present wrapping. <laughs> which is why, these. which is why you are doing it and not me. Why? Because who are you like? Only you think so. You, okay, watch Arthur Christmas. Check out Bryony, the chief parcel wrapping elf. No one gets an unwrapped present on my watch. Three bits of sticky tape. Three. I give you my very own Bryony. <laughs> Comments below. Nothing like Bryony, am I? Only three pieces. I want to know where you're going to put the bow. No, actually, I don't. You can grab my water bottle, darling, because I'm getting warm. So all those pots that you're used to seeing are actually going into these planters. So the snapdragons, cosmos, etc. But everything's also got spring bulbs. So we just have to be a bit delicate with moving stuff around. But that's all we're going to do now. We're on the last leg because it's about to rain in 10 minutes apparently. Starting to feel it spitting, so we have to get a shifty. Right, okay. Little Leos at this end so they get the most sun. Because they're only two little things. Let's see what 
houses in that one. You're the wheat. I was about to say, do you want to get a tub? It's not bad, is it? So, 109 quid, two planters, built ourselves exactly the way we want them, sizes we want them and everything. All planted up, looking lovely. Just shows you. Obviously, of course, it would have cost a bit more if we'd had to buy the compost, but it turns out we had more than enough, so that was awesome. But yeah, so now to prep for all the rest of the stuff for my birthday party tomorrow. Although, you guys will be watching this the day afterwards, so yeah. Anyways, hope that was fun and I hope it inspired you to try having a go at making your own stuff instead of spending a fortune buying it. See you guys!